Um, if I select a clip down in the timeline, remember this is a very dynamic window. It will show you the properties of whatever you have selected. I have just one clip on the timeline. I select it. I can see all the properties for that clip. Again, if you don't see the inspector window, you need to turn it on by hitting the inspector icon. <coughs> uh, it's the second icon from the right on the toolbar. The shortcut is uh, Command 4. It has three tabs, video, audio, and info. The video tab is on by default, and we can see all of the options that are already applied to every clip in FCP. So no matter what you do, these clips already have all these options to it. Okay. Um, and we'll talk about the effects here in a little bit, but let's click on the audio tab. And in here, uh, one of the main sections that we will deal with is the volume and pan section. The volume is automatically set for zero. We haven't touched the volume at all for this clip. Uh, but for instance, if I thought the volume was too low, I can click and drag the slider to the right. Notice it only adds 12. What is 12 seems like a random number, right? Uh, well, in audio terminology, this is decibels. Okay, 12 decibels. Um, what, what was explained to me was for every six decibels, you can think of audio as being twice as loud. Okay, so that means that's about three times as loud, four times as loud, I mean, sorry. <clears throat> okay. So, let's play our clip now. And yep, it is louder. So let's, let's do another clip. Let's do a connected clip. Let's take our John Force. I'm going to connect it here. Uh, and remember, if I were to play this clip, it will play both of the audio clips, which I don't want. right? So I'm going to select my John Force clip. I'm going to go to my audio inspector. And I can just take it and drag this all the way to the left. And you'll see an icon. It says negative infinity, that sideways 8. That means there's no audio to it. You've essentially lowered it so much that no audio is going to play. So now that I play my clip, oops, my John Force clip doesn't have any audio now. You can even see on the timeline that the waveforms are now missing. And this is really nice about FCP. The clip on the primary timeline, let me uh, zoom in here, since we increased the volume of it, if you look at the waveforms, blue means your audio is good, yellow means your audio is creeping up into maybe too loud, and red is way too loud for digital audio. So if you were to play this out to your school, it would sound like mumbled garbage. So you never want to be in that red area on your clip. Okay. So we could go into the inspector and we could lower the audio down for this, but I'll show you a really quick way in Final Cut. And golly, you FCP 7 lovers are going to love this. <laughs> right? There is a horizontal bar, a white horizontal bar that runs all the way across your clip. This is the quickest way to adjust the clip's audio. Notice if I hover my mouse over it, it says 12 dB decibels. That's because we increased this audio clip by 12 decibels in the inspector. But I can click and drag that bar down to maybe go to 6 decibels. And it lowers the audio, and all the waveforms will adjust dynamically. And you can see now we're now all of our audio in this clip does not hit or peak in the red. So let's, let's move this back up. Let's edit undo. Let's put that back at 12. And let's say this guy's a great anchor or interviewer, or interviewee, <laughs> uh, except he spoke really low at times, really high at times, and I don't want to adjust the audio all together. But in FCPX, 
it has a really nice feature where I can adjust audio in a range. So for instance, let's take this first range here where the audio is way too loud um, for the, just this one little section. The first tool that we're going to switch in our toolbar is the range selection tool, shortcut R. Okay, You just click once on the down arrow next to the tool and then select range selection. If I hover my mouse over a clip, you'll notice that the range icon beneath my selection tool appears. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to left click and drag a section around the clip that I want to adjust. Okay. Then I'm going to take my cursor and remember how we adjusted the whole clip with that horizontal bar? I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag that section. Why did I not do it? <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to drag this down just a tad. We'll go to maybe six decibels. So let's try it again. Right? So we, if we move down on the clip a little bit, here we have another section that's a little bit too loud. I can, uh, I can drag a highlighted part of that. And then I'm just going to uh, drag that clip back down a little bit. And there we go. One of the first things you'll notice when you start messing with ranges and adjusting audios like this, it starts putting these white diamonds on the timeline. These are what's known as keyframes, and it will fade your audio from point A to point B. So for instance, from here, it'll be 12 decibels. Once it hits here, the keyframe is telling FCP, OK, I want you to start lowering the audio to six, and it does it in a nice curved fade, so it doesn't just do a cut. So it's not like loud, 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 it's off. Right? It's more like loud, 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 loud. Right? So it's a lot better. So it's six, 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 six to here, and then it rises back up to 12, and then plays it out until the next keyframe. In the bottom right-hand corner, the first icon to the left of your, or sorry, to the right of your zoom. If you click on that, you should get a little window here, and you can change how your clips appear in Final Cut. So the one that is by default is the uh, the fourth one. That will show you your video and your audio waveforms. 